Hey, these folks are dancing and telling jokes. Well, they're dancing. <laughs> The trouble with kids today is they don't know what they want. When I was a kid, I never wanted that. Uh, you know, for a teenager, you're very mature. Well, I've been shaving for over a year now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I cut myself both times. You know, as far as I'm concerned, being fat's all in your head. I don't think it's all in your head. <laughs> so I says to the waiter, I says, Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. And the waiter says, shh, not so loud. Everybody will be wanting one. Hmm. What did you see? You've got to be strong. You've got to stand on your own two feet. But that's the problem. What? I've got three feet. <laughs> oh, I hate barn dances. Only reason I come is for the door prize. Well, what's the prize? A free ticket to the next barn dance. George, uh, would you like to come to my place for dinner tomorrow night? Maybe. What are you fixing? Well, you like duckling? I don't know. I never duckled. You know, the trouble with women is they always take things personally. I don't. So I said to the waiter, I said, waiter, what's this fly doing in my soup? And the waiter said, looks like the backstroke. <laughs> hey, uh, did you hear the one about the nut who joined the army? Sure, they made him a colonel. Oh, <laughs> uh, that old chestnut! <laughs> uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Will you stop trying to cut in? Hi <laughs> hey, waiter, can you break a tin? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Don't mention it. I wish I hadn't. Ooh, I see you don't have much to say. I, I, I don't understand that. You have to think about it. <laughs> oh, do you come here often? Mm, only to have my appendix out. <laughs> Oh, wow, they're not too light on their feet. Oh, not too light on mine either. So I says to the waiter, I says, Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. And a waiter says, What's the matter? You ordered a mosquito? Do you play tennis? Oh, of course. And how's your backhand? Fair. How's your forehand? Oh, they're terrific. The trouble with men is that they're all too wishy-washy. Well, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Why is your mother trying to keep us apart? I don't know. I'll ask her. Mother, why are you trying to keep us apart? The trouble with you is you can't take criticism. Oh, that's a low-down, rotten lie. What do you mean I can't take? Say... What's your brother-in-law doing up there? Oh, he's trying to start the ceiling fan. It stopped. <laughs> Looks like he got it started. <laughs> yeah, do you believe in the hereafter? Oh, yes. Ah, then you know what I'm hereafter. <laughs> Don't you feel stupid with three feet? Sure, but the other one didn't come back from the cleaner. <laughs> the trouble with you is you conceded. I am not. Although I have every reason to be. Oh, I'm so crazy about you, I can't see straight. <laughs> oh, I'm so goofy about you, I can't eat. <laughs> oh, I'm so much in love with you, I, I can't even sleep. Oh, well, what should we do? Well, I... Chicken to a hospital, man. <laughs> so I said to the waiter, I said, what's this fly doing in my alphabet soup? And he said, standing in for the apostrophe. <laughs> And is absolutely batty. Uh, why do you say that? <laughs> hey, are you the doctor? Well, that's what I tell people. Well, would you remove a large growth from my toe? Sure. What is it? Him. Uh, uh, finally good to get out of that box. Yeah, pay attention. I'm leading. 
One, two, three, dip. <laughs> Say, did you ever fall in love with a guy at first sight? Mm-hmm. But it always took a while. I find that most people don't believe what other people tell them. Uh, I don't think that's true. What do you get when you cross an Eskimo and a pig? Oh, that's easy. You get a polar boar. <laughs> what is going on? What boar? Move that bucket! I see you still don't have much to say. I've thought about it, I still don't understand it. <laughs> oh, my beloved George, even though we come from two different worlds, I find myself strangely attracted to you. Yeah, I feel the same way. <gasps> you mean you're attracted to me? No, to me. Weird, huh? Oh, honey, at our wedding, who's going to be the best man? My brother. Oh, maybe I should marry him. <laughs> Hey, hey, you said I could lead this time. Okay, okay, but I thought you promised to wear the pink taffeta. Oh, so I lied. You know, when I was in London, I saw them changing the guards. What? Were they dirty? What's the difference between immoral and illegal? Uh, immoral is uh, doing bad things. Illegal is me with a tummy ache. I didn't write it. You know, I just can't seem to hold on to a guy. What is it, huh? I'm a real good looker, a neat dresser, and a great cook. Come on, tell me now, what's my problem? You're too introverted. Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, Dr. Tooth, teeth, teeth, do you think honesty is the best policy? Oh, positively. Well, you are a terrible dancer. Then a crack like that in your best policy will be an insurance policy. My family has quite a history. You can find a record of them in the 17th century. Ah, uh, so is my family. You can find a record of them in the 19th precinct. Yeah, so I've recorded three record albums, and they're really great, but they haven't sold! Uh, what do you sing? Rock? No lullaby! You know, George, I come from a very old family. Uh, mine's older. Oh, really? How old? Uh, my family's so old it's been condemned. <laughs> you know, I had a bit part in a movie last week. A bit part? Yeah, I bit someone. <laughs> George? George? Huh? Do you like circuses? Oh, I love them. Oh, then you must like ringling. I don't know. I never wrinkled. <laughs> you know, my aunt has a chest that goes back to 1700. Well, well, must make it tough on your uncle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say the children of today are the parents of tomorrow. <laughs> I always thought it took longer than that. Do you prefer Shakespeare to bacon? I prefer anything to bacon. <laughs> Do you know what it's like dancing with you? No, what? One, two, three, dip! Ah! Oh, I love it! More, more! One, two, three, dip! You know, I uh, picked up a hitchhiker the other day. Oh, really? Yes, well... It's only right. I was the one who knocked him down. And when I went to school, I was the teacher's pet. What's the matter? Couldn't she afford a dog? Oh. <laughs> Animal, my watch won't run. Ah, oh, here, I run it for you. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. What were you doing? I was a librarian! <laughs> huh. I'll be darned. You say that's your boy? Huh. How could you have a son that age? Huh. I didn't. When I had him, he was just a baby. <laughs> Did you really have three feet? Sure. One, two, three. Ah! 
Three feet and one broken back. Uh, George, George, uh, do you read very much? Oh, all the time. Oh, uh, do you like Kipling? Oh, well, I don't know. I never kippled. You know, I'm falling for you. What can I do? Get out of the way! Ah! Ah! Want to join me? Yeah. Ah! Backwards. Ah! Excuse me, sideways. Ah! I'm really into American history. Oh? Mm-hmm. You know, Washington, Jefferson, Revere. Oh, you like Franklin? Well, I don't know. I've never Frankled. <laughs> what a tough night I've had tonight. Oh, yeah, me too. The chef ran out of flies halfway through dinner. One, two, three, dip. <laughs> oh, il canto e lavore, my bambino. Oh. Uh, is that Italian? No, it's pig Latin. <laughs> Hey, you want to stop by the punch bowl? Why do they call it a punch bowl? <laughs> That's why. This sketch is a disaster, Dr. Bob. What should we do? What else? A big finish. <laughs> Yeah, you know these jokes they give us each week? You know, they make me so mad I can blow my top. Me too. Uh, ladies first. <laughs> ah, I feel better now.